So I got the latest update for the self-driving. I want to give it a try and I thought I'm going to film this while we're doing this. I don't know if it can get out of the parking garage. Let's give it a try. Actually it does. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> um, exit. It's doing something. Alright, it's trying to go left. And there's a street cleaning coming. Uh, and it's stopping for it, hopefully. Yep. I guess it's going. I'm gonna just take over real quick here because the other guy was letting me out. It's actually something I noticed in general. Um, Self-driving is very, very careful. So sometimes I take over not because it's messing up, but more like Oh wow, that was a harsh stop and a harsh acceleration. I definitely noticed that in the latest update. It's doing, well now this is kind of a soft stop, but the acceleration from a light that turns green or from a stop sign Sometimes it's a little harsh, especially if it makes a turn right after that. It's a little more than I would do. Yeah, I know. I have another software update waiting. It's also interesting that it actually stops quite um, a little bit away from the actual stop sign or from the line. But I think that is actually the legal way you should do it. Here we go. Asking me to touch the wheel. Wow. Yeah, like the acceleration is a little spirited. Not bad, but I would probably be a little bit slower. That's all right though. And then in situations like this, it's just, yeah, I don't know, a little slow. Again, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just that I would drive probably a little different. So it stands out to me, but there's nothing wrong with it. I don't know if you can see it. Speed limit is 35 and I set it to 38. So three, three above the speed limit. You can set that up as you want. Um, yeah, it's always a little careful when it passes trucks. So I don't know why it's going 25 now. There's just nothing in the way just creeping along at 25 but nothing wrong with that another thing I noticed um, it stops pretty far away from the next car on the red light or stop light or whatever so I would say it is a car length Again, it's nothing wrong with that. It might actually be a good idea to have... Oh, actually, now it's going a little further. Why is it trying to change lanes now? No, don't do that. I'm gonna cancel this. So if it wants to change lanes and you don't like uh, the car doing it, you just put the blinker stock just in the opposite direction for a second. I think it thinks that there is just this lane is shorter or there's less cars, whatever it wants to change, but 
Another way to do it, you can change this to chill, or you can say minimum lane changes. If you put it to chill, it's also not going to change lanes pretty much, except when it has to. All right, here we go. No, you're not going here in this lane. Ah, oh, I was aiming for this <laughs> oncoming traffic. Not good. And I was reading some comments uh, in a discussion about the latest self-driving. And someone said um, it went into different lanes that it should not go a few times. So maybe that is still a little bit of an issue with this current software version. So now it's changing lanes because the guy in front of us is a little slow. All good. And by the time you're going to watch this video, we're going to have a new version anyways. So now I'm going to put it to 45. Yeah, that's something I don't really understand. So now it accepts that I can... I tell them to... You can go 45 miles per hour, but it just won't. It just still is it. You can accelerate. And then it'll do it and stay that way. But sometimes it just doesn't want to accelerate, even though the road is pretty clear and there's nothing. Again, it's not a big deal because you can always um, do that. You can always use the accelerator and just make it go when it hesitates. It doesn't disengage the autopilot. Alright, it's not very difficult here, so maybe I should have picked a different route, but that's where I had to go. So I thought I'd film this. So I got this car in late October last year, so now it's um, April. The following year, and I had three months of full self-driving and I used it a lot but it was version 11 something you know the the last version before they switched to AI on the back end and it was not it wasn't working well to be honest like it would just be it would just be erratic and random make many mistakes this is another thing I noticed I don't know if you can see it still so it's when I make a left turn or I go in a turn lane sometimes the car aligns itself really like hugging one lane or the other um, and I'm not quite sure why it wouldn't just stay in the center of the lane especially when it comes to turning you want a little buffer you don't want to be close to this uh, other turn lane here. The right lane, or the, the one to the right of me, is this one going straight, so there usually isn't an issue. Not a big deal, again, just some little things. Let's see how it handles this situation here. Actually pretty well. You know, the previous version was like very hesitant and like, you know, jerking around the wheel. This one seems a little more smooth. Now that I said it, it does it. <laughs> but it handles these situations better than the ver previous versions. Okay, uh, made a last minute decision to go in the other side. Fine with me. I want to go right there to Panera. and it's just super careful here in the parking lot. I have no problem with that. There's always people walking. Now it's just, I guess it's there, we're there. 
Alrighty, cool. Yeah, very unscientific, just wanted to show that real quick. And uh, that is version 12 point something. And I have another update waiting here. Yeah. I should try auto park, how about that? Well, in the next video. Alrighty, see you next time.